Is Berkey the same as an RO water filter? Short answer, no. Berkey uses microfiltration and activated carbon to remove sediment and chlorine. They are slow to filter and can't remove all harmful TDS like nitrates which RO filters can. In this video, we'll break down exactly how both systems treat water, what they remove, and the trade-offs you should know to make the right choice. First, let's analyze how these systems work. Reverse osmosis systems work by pressurizing water through an extremely fine, semi-permeable membrane, which is tiny enough to block out dissolved salts, heavy metals, fluoride, and even many microorganisms, but large enough for the water molecules to pass through. But here's the fun part. Most RO systems don't just depend on the membrane. They usually combine it with activated carbon to remove hydrophobic VOCs and sediment filters to trap dirt. Berkey filters, on the other hand, rely on a gravity-fed system. Inside the filter, there's a mix of technologies, an activated carbon block combined with ion exchange resin, plus a unique microfiltration design that uses millions of microscopic pores to trap contaminants. And if you want to reduce fluoride, Berkey offers optional fluoride filters that use high-grade activated alumina. Now let's understand what these systems can and cannot remove. Reverse osmosis can remove almost all harmful TDS except hardness which can cause scaling on the membrane and high iron levels which can foul it. For them, you need pretreatment. Berkey filters, by comparison, claim to remove or reduce over 200 contaminants but falls short with nitrates. It also doesn't soften water, so hardness stays the same, and it isn't effective against very high concentrations of iron or manganese. One more thing to note, because Berkey's optional fluoride filters use activated alumina, there's been concern about potential aluminium leaching, which you don't see with reverse osmosis systems. Now let's analyze how much effort they take to install. Most reverse osmosis systems, like the popular Waterdrop G3, are installed under the sink and require plumbing modifications, including connecting to your cold water line and adding a drain line for wastewater. But there are countertop RO units like the Aquatru which don't require plumbing changes or a drain hookup. Berkey is far simpler to install. It doesn't need electricity, a drain line, or permanent plumbing changes. You just assemble the chambers, prime the filters for over an hour, and let gravity do the work. Now let's analyze their pros and cons. Reverse osmosis systems remove nearly all harmful TDS with fast flow rate, making it reliable for everyday drinking water needs. But they waste water during filtration, though newer tankless models help reduce this. Maintenance is higher since filters need to be replaced regularly, and installation usually requires a professional plumber as said earlier. Berkey filters, on the other hand, are portable and remove bad taste and odor without electricity or plumbing, making them useful for emergencies or camping. Their filters last much longer and and there's no water wastage. But they suffer from a slower flow rate since it relies on gravity. It doesn't remove nitrates or all harmful TDS, and it can't handle water with high hardness or very high iron content, just like RO. So, which one should you pick? Go with reverse osmosis if you want fast filtered water for everyday use. If you're a renter, a countertop RO system like Aquatru makes sense, while an undersink option like the Waterdrop G3 is great if plumbing modifications are allowed. Choose Berkey for clean water during camping and emergencies as it offers a long filter life and a simple, electricity-free setup. And that's a wrap. If you have questions, drop them in the comments below and I'll be happy to help you out. And for another useful clean water guide, watch this video next.